on fellas and welcome back to the Charleston Tech Dynasty. Now I apologize this hasn't been coming out as often as a lot of you guys would have liked. As you know I'm planning to go to the United States in little under two weeks. We've got Alaska, we've got Charleston, we've got the five year rebuilds. I just need to tell you now that this will be the last season of Alaska. So just know in advance, don't say I didn't tell you. If Charleston Tech doesn't really get the likes or the views, we might just have to move on from it. But I'm willing to give it a chance. Moving on, today we're taking on 3-6 and six Minnesota. Now these guys are better than Northern Illinois and we lost to them pretty badly. BCB, interesting. We're putting up more points than them. They've beat a lot of teams that you would expect them to beat, but all the games that they've lost have been like close losses to really, really good teams. Apart from this Mizzou one, 10 to 49. We did lose to Northern Illinois last episode. We are five and five and we won a bowl game. My guess is if we can beat five targets win per year and get six qualified for a bowl game then win that bowl game we should be a two star that's all i'm gonna say we've only got two games left both tough opponents let's get this dub no real updates on recruiting we're trying to get matt moore here i did remove all the other four stars we are currently 645 away the good news is we jumped up 305 last episode we only get that that five bonus, but we're the only team to offer a scholarship. I don't need to tell you just how big this game is. That being said, fellas, let's jump into it. We've got to look out for their kicker, defensive tackle, and punter. I'm not really that worried about it. All right, what have we gotten ourselves into? I don't have too much experience taking on Minnesota. I know they're a pretty solid team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's a big first down by Bosti. Oh, I don't know if this is the move right here. Hopefully that's main coverage. No, nah, they're all over it. Bosti runs into a brick wall, mate. If only I wasn't a Michigan State fan, Minnesota might be my new teammate. Triangle across the middle. Sap's going to go for nearly a big first down. It is a first down. Well, let's go. Bosti, he's got a bit of speed, mate. What a beast. I don't remember. These guys played man coverage last time, right? It is man coverage. More man. Slotted in there. Towns is going to pick up the big first down. That wasn't too hard, was it? What is this? I see people open. Let's go, Causey. All right. Right down the gut. Oh, oh. Maxwell, the backup. He's nearly getting thrown in the end zone, mate. I don't like this guy being a star, but we'll figure it out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez, Boston. This does look a lot like the C4 special. And it's going to work, mate. Maybe. Oh, maybe I just messed it up. Our red zone offense really is so bad. Like, it's so bad. Oh, there we go, Causey. In the... Mate, that's a, you can't be hitting me quarterback like that. One thing to take away from that first drive, apart from the drop, I believe we were perfect on passing. The run game was pretty good as well. Let's see what we can do, man. See if we can stop. Why didn't you pick it? Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's check it out, see how this does. Don't switch me over here. That's a... Jeez, man. Our run D is... Our, our run D is so bad. Here comes Horn. Nice. Let's just run it straight up the gut. There's nothing else we can really do other than protect that middle. Ah, off to the quarterback and he's in. All right, no problem. Cut it back. Oh, there we go. Broken tackle. No squiggly line cheese. The crowd is not into it. I'm going to follow the line this time. Definitely are not in a fantastic spot right now. Hopefully because it's second and 15, they do end up playing man. Sending the blitz with the safety. I'm going to let that fly. Let's go, Spencer. See if we can get Maxwell involved, the back out running back. We're just, we we don't have the speed, mate. I get it. There's harder ones out there. <laughs> All right, that punt's actually not bad. Oh, lay him out. We need to get a stop. Right here, right now, mate. Because their running back is already off to a fantastic start. All I'm asking is, where are the picks at, mate? Where? Oh, do you see the pancakes? And this is with conservative tackling on as well, mate. The tight end in the backfield. Play action. Come on, it's a quarterback. You've got to make him fumble that. Oh! Good 
catch by Bosti. Third and four, the squiggly line cheese is going to come back. Somebody on a drag. I'm about to throw it, man. We're not out of it yet. We just really need something to give us momentum. And that's possible. One pick, one fumble. We're in a good spot. How hard is it going to be to get that fumble? Here goes a pass. He's going to take off. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he fumbled it again. Emmanuel Smallwood. <laughs> I have never, ever seen anything like that in my life. He picks it up, gets smacked by Rudy Leak, and fumbles it again. I did ask for a fumble, and I definitely got it. Let's go, Maxwell. Now we get hit. Get out of the pocket. We, we did have X, mate. Cause he can't throw across his body like that, though. He's no athlete. We probably won't get squiggly line cheese until it's third down. Or we tie this game up. Run up circle. Oh, Spencer with the big time snag. What a throw. Oh, let's go. I had to truck, mate. I had to do it. Look at that play, mate. Looks like they're designing a highway. Let's just keep it simple. Still left one second on the clock. It's going to be a run play. Hands down. Here we go. Passing play. Give me that. Mate, I tried my best. We couldn't get it. No. He's actually going to pass it. Woo -hoo -hoo. We nearly picked it. I'm going to jump on the receiver here. They're going to need to pick up this first down. He's taking that flat. I want him to take that. He does take it. Come on. Let's go, baby. They're calling a blitz. Nobody was getting out of that. Second and 14, they drive us back on the first play. Pressing this time as well. This pressing is making me depressed. Oh, it is man though. Got him on the out route, cheese! Spencer! He is that guy today! Ah, oh, crap. All right, I kind of did that to myself. Third and six, we are anything from field goal range right here. Somebody to step up, make a play. We've got options all over the field. It appears as though Causey is injured. But Connor Town's going to come down with it. Is that the Brewster? It is the Brewster. So Causey's out again. Brewster's not that good. He can't scramble for crap. Let's go, Bostic. Nice. We're actually getting a little bit of momentum here on the ground. Come on, come on. They're stacking the box. Get that block. We get the block. The big man can't catch Bostic. He's stiff arming. He's carrying the team right now. And cause he's got broken ribs. He broke his ribs last week. I don't know what to tell you, mate. Just get get a rib transplant. Oh, Brewster. He just, just squashed his wide receiver. I don't know if this is a good idea. Yeah, okay. That's definitely for the best. Brewster, I did not want running the ball there. If we get the ball back, any way, shape, or form, I am chewing this clock like you wouldn't believe. That is the game plan. Screenplay. That's going to be picked off. Horn. Let's go, baby. We did it. That is the biggest play of the game. Antoine Horn caught a pick last episode against Northern Illinois. He does it again on the crappy wide receiver screen. Against all odds, mate. With the backup in. All right. Bostic still got a little bit of work to do. Second and goal, fourth quarter time. That looks like they're playing a lot of coverage here, mate. Let's, let's just run in with Bostic, no? The line is Gabagio. But if we run this quarterback sneak, who's going to stop the Brewster? Let's go, Brewster! He's in! Yes! If our defense gets turnovers, we're going to win every game. We don't get turnovers, we're not going to win every game. Screenplay is going to break that. It's going to break another. He gets brought down. They're getting a bit desperate, relying on screen plays like there's no tomorrow. They can't run it either. Oh, the cut back. That's always going to be my nemesis. Oh, wildcat cheese. Breaking tackles. Thank you, Horn. What is this? Run play. Come on, man. Bring him down. Let's go. He's going to hit the running back. He's wide open. Ooh, big hit on the quarterback. Still on the tight end this time with Pettit. Pettit's a monster. Corner route. Oh, he's cutting back. And we're just going to get tricked by an out route. Oh, that's fourth down? 
He threw it out of bounds. What a goose. We definitely need to get this stop. Let's get two men under pop in here. I'm not going to send a blitz. Give me that, bro. What do you think this is, mate? I've got thumbs. I can move me toggles, all right? Three turnovers to zero. Our defense gets turnovers. We win the game. Easy work, mate. Minnesota proved to be a challenge. But it's just not going to be good enough. Boys, I'm thinking gun split, ace close, Y on an out route, and then smart route, the deep route. So that way, the big Brewster Brewster can just throw it deep with his 98 throw power. Because I got a new Brewster card. He's 98 uh, overall. He's also got 103 accuracy with the chem boost as well. There we go. That's another first down. They've got no timeouts left. GG Minnesota. Charleston Tech going to advance to six wins with this dub, I'm pretty sure. We should have a bowl game, and we just beat our targets win per year. Causey's running off the field, and he's got broken ribs. Checking out the stats on the day. Causey with a 152.5 passer rating. We will not have him for the season finale, but he did have a pretty solid game overall. 76% completion rate. Brewster threw one pass for seven yards. <laughs> Longest of seven. Rushing in, Bostic picking up 107. Causey picking up a touchdown at 26. Maxwell with a touchdown today. And Brewster putting it away with a nice little scramble through the gut. Receiving, nothing too extraordinary. Spencer with 66, Towns with 22. No passing touchdowns on the day. And this is where everything comes together. Leak leading the day in tackles. You can see there's nothing crazy with how many tackles we had, even though Ian Russ here had two TFLs as a 69 overall senior, one of them being a sack. Antoine Horn put us in a position to score instantly. Can't thank this guy enough. Martin Prince, this was the guy I used and got the pick to seal the deal. He's a five foot nine sophomore, that's 69 overall. I'm pretty sure this guy is the second string as well behind Webb, because Webb is 73. But that was an incredible game by the defense. Of course, we forced two fumbles in the same play as well, which led to us getting another turnover. We barely escaped with the win. We barely had any mistakes and we beat a Big Ten teammate. That is incredible. Pick up 54 overall Tony Davis and uh, 53 Tyrone Barber. We only have three scholarships left, so I'm gonna have to get rid of everybody else and just go after that four-star guy. We did have a finalist for a lot of awards, surprisingly. You'll have to wait till next episode for this, by the way. And looking ahead, Vandy is currently 2-9 and nine on the season. We do qualify, I believe, on a 6-5. and five. Though, just to be sure, I'd rather come away with this dub too. Vandy comes in with B-minuses across the board. And they have just... Oh my goodness. The only teams they beat were Texas A&M and Mid-Tennessee. And they only barely beat them. They even lost to UTSA, mate. What is going on here? Their quarterback, he's having a pretty up and down season, kind of on the level of Causey, their running back. He did have a really good game last week, even though they lost. We have to watch out for that. And their wide receiver, not really putting in that much work on the touchdown end, but the receiving yards are kind of nice. But that being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Charleston Tech Dynasty. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. Only one more regular season game left. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Only pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care You've been out all night I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Now